Wow. Always. So that way the artist, everyone feels comfortable. Like when the baby first came into town. Yeah. I remember it hit that. I was like, this is the next dude. I'm like, who's this dude? Hit, you know, the baby. And yeah. So, he, but he had that, you know, that grandparent feeling, you know what I'm saying? Like you're yeah, at yeah, home. Yeah. 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 That motherfucker's in our studio for like two weeks. People don't know that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Oh, let me ask you this, man. You had, uh, what was that show that y'all had down there? Because you had, I remember Mo3 rapping. I took some of that footage and used it, too, on one of my right. interviews, just showing. What was that show that you, when you first had Space Boy down there? Let's talk about it. Was it Black? The black yeah, box, it was the Black Box the Show. The Black Box Show. Yeah. I want to talk about that show because there were so many different people that I seen when you showed me the footage of them rapping in there. Right. What made you put that together? And, and, and like... Who all? Give me some names of some of the guys. Yeah, so we were, I was doing a, um, what were they called? An anime. Okay. Uh, deal from Japan okay. or something like that. And they had to bring American actors in to do the voiceover for the cartoon mm -hmm. thing. And so I was in there for like two days and I was like, oh man, this is some cool fucking shit. I've always wondered mm -hmm. how this shit went down. down yeah. And so. By day two, I'm like, okay, god damn, this thing's taking a lot longer. You know, now I'm getting <laughs> bored and shit. So now I'm like starting to think, like, man, what can we do with all this shit? Mm -hmm. And that's where I called B. Watts, man. I was like, yo, you got to come here and bring your shit and let me show you something. I think I'm onto something. Okay. And so he showed up. I said, uh, uh, bring the AOK -okay at the time. I forget what they call him now, but <laughs> this is back in the day. And so they come and shit, and then we I go live with it, and they were just like, "What? You got Rap City the basement?" I said, "That's what I'm trying to tell you," and that's where, you know, that was back that's in 2015. Kicked we kicked that off. Wow! And it was I, just over everyone's head. Man, so and I, like I said, and I, I know I seen uh, early on. I seen Mo three come through there. Like, how was it dealing with him when he would come through? And uh, you know, he, he was rap. he was unique. You know what I'm saying? He was all about his business. He went on no bullshit. He was always respectful. You know, my hat's off. We still got a bandana that he left in in the studio. Wow. You Did know you what frame I'm it? We still got it. I had, I had, I had his shadow box to shit, but we got yeah. we still got the bandana and shit. Space I man. like that, You know man. what I'm saying? That's so he, live. you know, and then we've always kept it like y'all here. You know, we're not for the drama and yeah. trying to get into the, to you know, I, I'm not one to be like trying to be gangster and all that shit. Like I'm yeah. just here to pr pr provide a platform for people to better themselves and to help better just, themselves man. Just, that's, we've always been on that shit so when they when they came it was like being at at grandpa's house or you know they were always relaxed because we ain't trying to bring all that other bullshit around our studio to create that bullshit yeah so everyone in the city knows when they come over our shit it's secure it's quiet we ain't on social media we ain't posting who's here right now yeah you know, you, you pull up to the back door, text, and boom, you slide in. No one knows who's there. Yeah. And we keep it that way. Wow. Always. So that way, the artists, everyone feels comfortable. Like, when the baby first came into town, Yeah, I remember it hit that. I was like, this is the next dude. I'm like, who's this dude? Hit, you know, the baby? And yeah, so, he, but he had that, you know, that grandparent feeling. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're yeah, at yeah, home. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That motherfucker's in our studio for like two weeks. People don't know that. Wow. You know, I mean, you know. That's crazy, but at the end of the day, I could believe it because you, you the way the place was set up and just the way, the feel you get when you come in there. Right. Um, I, you know, I, <laughs> my wife's on mills. But you know, like, when, when you think about, like, like the talent that you've you put, been able to film, I also, Dolph, didn't you film Dolph? Man, we feel dog. We, you know, we first started. So, so the whole, the whole, Mulberry. the whole thing is we, we. So we started in the black box show, and we saw potential. You know, nowadays they have the microphone that everyone's doing right now. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Shit, it's a music video. Correct. What people never fully grasped with us was when Mo Three went in there and spit them bars. This shit was live. Yeah, yeah. So if he fucked up, that was it. That so was it. You know, it was like the broom sweeper. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. yeah. You know, like the like the man on, on the right. we, we, we give you a, like a rehearsal to come in and run your shit. But when we went live, yeah, man, if you fucked that up, you're fucking it up in front of you know fifteen thousand people. But that was the same case with the the Boosie Gone Bad thing as well. Yeah, same. You shit. like to do everything you know. live, right? What? Yeah, we on Boss Talk One Hundred One. Yeah, we gonna talk.